I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important test question based on rational functions. The question here is, consider the function f of x equals to x to the power of 4 minus 1 divided by x cubed minus 1. Find the asymptotes of f of x and discuss end behavior. Now since degree of numerator is 1 higher, what do you expect? You expect an oblique asymptote, correct? So I think now you, the question is very clear. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So as I was saying, we expect oblique asymptote. So that is one thing. Second, we also know that the denominator could be zero for x equals to one, right? So clearly, in this particular equation, we have a restriction that x is not equal to one. That could give us zero in the denominator. Now, one is also a factor of numerator. So if I substitute one here, I get zero over zero, right? So that clearly indicates that we have a hole at one. So this is one thing. Second, we have hole at x equals to one. Correct. Now to begin with, let us factor this out, simplify, and then work on the equation f of x, which is given to us as x to the power of four. So we could write this as x squared plus one. So I'm just factoring it direct. x squared minus one denominator could be written as x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. So I applied the formula of a cube minus b cube. So once you do that, uh, well, I have to further factor. So let me factor this also. So we have x squared plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. Now, one of the factors, as expected, cancels out x equals to 1, right, leading to the whole. So that is very clear. So this is what you get. Now, that means we have a whole, right, at x equals to 1. So if I substitute 1 here, I get y equals to what? Uh, 1 plus 1 is 2 and then we get 1 plus 1 also 2 so so what we get here let me rewrite this function so f of x will be equal to x square plus 1 times x plus 1 divided by all this which is x square plus x plus 1 now obviously here x is not equal to 1 right it's important to write so the whole will be, when I substitute 1 here, I get uh, 1 plus 1 as 2. Here also we get 1 plus 1 as 2. And here we get, so 4 over 3. So y value is 4 over 3. Do you see that? So we have a whole which is at 4 over 3. Okay. Now, since the degree of numerator is 1 higher, we expect oblique asymptote. So we need to divide to get it. So we'll get back to this equation uh, in standard form. So let me now multiply again. So x squared times x is x cubed. Then with 1, we get x squared. Uh, and then you multiply, you get x plus 1. That becomes the numerator. Denominator is x squared plus x plus 1. Now, uh, to get the uh, asymptote, we'll divide let me use this space itself and we'll kind of divide the numerator which is x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1 by x squared plus x plus 1. So it goes x times so we get x cubed plus x squared plus x this is 0 and we are left with just 1 here. So that shows that I could write my function f of x as equal to x, the oblique asymptote, plus 1 over all this. 1 over x squared plus x plus 1, where 
x is not equal to 1. Perfect. So, so since we have a hole, so we did find that we have a hole at 1 whose y value is 4 over 3. Now it is clear that we have one asymptote which is oblique asymptote. We do not have any vertical asymptote in this case, right? Now let's talk about end behavior. So what is end behavior? So end behavior is what happens when the x value approaches positive large value or negative, right? So, so we have to figure out what happens with, when x approaches negative infinity and what happens when x approaches positive infinity. So here in this function, we'll see since we have 1 over x square in the denominator, this part is always positive, correct? So this part here is always positive. Perfect. Since it is positive, it is above the line. So we have above, so the function remains above this line, right? So, so we could say in both cases, we are looking into a situation where the graph of f of x, so we could write here that f of x is above the oblique asymptote which is uh, y equals to x, correct? So to sketch, uh, let me give a small sketch here in the remaining space, okay? So the graph will look not exactly, but something like this. So we have an oblique asymptote here. Okay, so let me sketch oblique asymptote with this ink which is y equals to x and we do have a hole right so this this is one this is minus one so we do have a hole somewhere right so let me say this is a hole right so the function will be above the line means it is going to be kind of like this with a hole at this point and approaching the line. So we're concentrating on this part, the end behavior, correct? So the answer here is when x approaches negative infinity, y approaches x from above, right? So this plus means from above. Similarly, when x approaches positive infinity, y approaches x from above. Do you get the idea? So that becomes the, the end behavior. And we have only one asymptote here, which is an oblique asymptote. And that is how our graph is going to look like, right? So I hope that makes sense. Uh, but what you should do is, uh, for you, the question here is, sketch graph of f of x. Is it okay? That is makes sense to you? So that is very interesting question. You could use the techniques which you have learned so far to sketch this graph for the rational function given to you. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you really like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. So this is the location of a hole, which is at x equals to one, and the y value is four over three, perfect. So I hope that makes sense. Thanks for watching and all the best.